Black Friday vacuum cleaner by heart. And this is the six gallon stainless steel wet dry vac. I think this was last Friday. I guess, I don't know, whatever. I'm not sure if all the Walmarts are doing the same deals every Friday or what exactly is going on. Start off with what's simple. A couple of these extender deals. Looks like the, you have to put the feet on. Just little small pieces of cardboard to protect that one spot. Looks nice and clean. That's a satisfying button. Huh. It almost has a, di I think it does have a different sound for on and off. Yeah, it's more of a tick. One direction. I don't know why that would matter, but. And I also don't know if this thing has feet or what did I, what's going on? A little Velcro piece that's part of the cord. Let's see if this thing is annoying. I had it like blowing directly at me. So, weird. Um, I feel like I'm missing something, you know? Like a hose? Oh, it's got to be inside of it. <laughs> There's the hose. Yay! got to be where the casters are too. Yeah, that's a high quality feeling hose. And it has a little deal to line up and twist when you hook that on there. A little tiny piece of cardboard to protect that. Looks like those will be easy to snap in. And that piece, uh, maybe a filter. And then they have cardboard at the bottom. So, just gotta line this back up. doing wrong. This only can go on one way, so you can't put it on backwards it seems like. Those are really, like that's a, I'm sure that that gets looser over time, but that was pretty, pretty tight fit. Okay. Yeah, so it has one of those twist spots to lock it into place. It seems like I've got to hook that lock. Yeah, I've got it set up. So, my instant idea was to hook it up here. It just seemed right. But that's to, that's to turn it into a blower. So, You could dust stuff off with it if you just put it on that spot. Alright. And then there's this spot down here. Sweet. 
And you just have to put the wheels on this thing. I'm guessing that this little filter goes inside the deal somewhere. Number 15. Yeah, see? That wraps around the inside. There's a little chain hanging off of the bottom of this thing for some reason. It's kind of weird. It's like, what's that noise? So, you want to make sure it's unplugged, you know, just because. Even though you're just putting the feet on it. Wow. I feel like I'm going to break the darn thing pushing those in, but I'm sure that's all it is. Just slide them on. Man. I'm guessing as soon as you got this thing pressed into place, it ain't, these wheels ain't coming off very easy. Sweet. That one went any easier. There's this little, like, locking ring. And when you're pushing this on here, you kind of, you got to get that ring set up just right so that it doesn't catch. I don't know how to describe that better, but so that the open end isn't scratching at it. But you do have to definitely put a little bit of force on this, guys. And I, I don't know what this little chain is possibly, like, I don't know what you'd use that for. There you go. So you do have to put a bit of strength against that to, to put the wheels on. Okay. Take its hose off. Open it back up because you got this thing, it shows a little picture of taking this thing off. So, one, move on. Okay. You know what's weird is all of these vacuum cleaners I've seen in the past, this style, would have a thing that holds this all on. And this one just has this weird little bag thing. So. Yeah, that's all it says is slide this thing on. It's pretty snug. <laughs> That's for sure. I guess you put the bag over the top of this. But normally there would be a piece that like is notched out like this. And I didn't see nothing when I was going through the, all the stuff here, so... Um, so I guess the bag is like washable, cloth filter. Hmm. 
installing foam wet filter. Okay, so that's it. It just doesn't have a keeper. It's just so snug. So this is what you'd use if you were uh, setting up as a wet vacuum, I guess. So this one's the regular bag they use. Uh, seems like an interesting way of doing it. De definitely powerful. So, I mean, geez, for the Black Friday price of $29, I'd say it's a good vacuum, guys. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys those few things, putting the feet on. So, be sure to follow and like some of my other videos. Thanks, guys.